Hi, everybody. It's Crystal Martinez, at uh, speech therapist at Monta Vista. I am going to be going over some training on how to use these communication sheets. They come in threes. How to use these communication sheets in your everyday. Okay, so this one's linked up to math. This one here is more for the functional communication, has body parts here. And also this describing communication aid is always great. So we're gonna start off here. So we're gonna be talking about how you can use this during an activity of say Play-Doh. Okay, so we are gonna do requesting. If your student is not independently requesting by pointing out, I want red Play-Doh, then you're gonna go ahead and do it for them. Okay, so you can actually hand over hand, so that's meaning that you're grabbing the student's hand, you're reaching out for their, their um, pointer finger, and you're going to go ahead and tap all those pictures that you want to build that sentence. I want red Play-Doh. You pairing it with the verbal so that they're always hearing that model of the verbal speech. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to be playing with the Play-Doh, we're gonna be rolling it up. How does it feel? Does it feel bumpy? Does it feel smooth? Does the Play-Doh feel cold? How does it feel? It feels cold. Wow, that's feeling cold. So what you're gonna to do too, you can say, do you want more Play-Doh? See how I'm indicating this choice here, which is a blank? Um, we're not going to have all the pictures available of the things that we're working on or the things that your student finds interesting. Um, but by putting, providing these blanks here, you can end up making them whatever they are. So typically I haven't had any difficulty with the students knowing that they can use this as a way of finding that vocabulary without, without actually seeing the picture. So I'll just kind of start it off, and usually with like chips. So I want chips, because it's not here. It's not on these pictures, so I'm using this blank, chips. So the next time the student will know, I'm just gonna use this blank. I know I can't find it here. Chips are not here, but I'm gonna use this blank and I'm gonna say chips along with it. I want chips. Okay, so back to Play-Doh, you can have them request a different color Play-Doh. Um, you can have them request a big, a big ball of Play-Doh or a little small, small piece of Play-Doh. Um, you can warm up the Play-Doh maybe, who knows? Or maybe just mold it in your hand for a little while until it gets warm and say, ooh, that's hot versus a fresh little out of the can Play-Doh that's cold. Okay, you can say, oh, the Play-Doh is up. You can make a, put a cup here, put the Play-Doh up here, and say Play-Doh is up. Play-Doh is down if it's under or down below the, the cup. So you can use all of these different language variations. You can roll, 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 say go, 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 stop, and pause it. Have them stop rolling, have them stop modeling in hand. Um, have them stretch it out and increase that vocabulary in there. Um, do you want more Play-Doh? Yes. And pairing it with the head nod and the verbal and the pointing of yes. Okay, so um, always even start off with hello. Hello, Alex. Hello, Teacher Crystal. And then after, goodbye. Okay, there's also feel and see. What do you see? Do you see green Play-Doh? Yes, you see green Play-Doh, yes. Do you want more green Play-Doh? Yes, more green Play-Doh. Okay, so as you're lengthening the sentences and the phrases, also remember to be pointing this out and getting the student's engagement to their visual here so then they're seeing it and they're pairing that verbal that you're producing to the pictures here. And then you'll start seeing a little bit more movement with them being independent, moving towards um, the desired objects that they want from, 
from this communication aid. Okay, so there's that one. Um, and the math one is always great. So the math one, we're talking about numbers. You can have them count out how many, how many, how many pennies do you have? And you count them one, two, three, four. Oh, four, four pennies. Mom has three pennies. Who has more pennies? If you're doing a puzzle, you can say um, a puzzle with shapes. You can say, uh, what kind of puzzle piece do you want? I want circle. I want square. Have them draw it out. Have them draw a square. You draw a square. What, what shape do you see? See square. Yeah. You see square, okay? And you can always reinforce this, the go and the stop in anything, just like more and yes and no. So do you want to do more shapes? Yes or no? All right, so that's just a brief one on math, but um, I like the describing one the most and I find it very useful. And I mean, just with these little bit of descriptive words, you can do so much, okay? So that's the communication aids that come in threes. Um, and uh, I think that's it for, for this video. If you have any questions, please contact me at Crystal uh, C. Martinez at fcoe.org. Reach out to your teachers and your teachers will then find me um, and relay the message and I will get back to you with some answers, okay? Thank you so much, bye.